Okay, so I just wanted to do, do a little mention on the importance of keeping a food diary. And this is regardless of whether you want to lose weight, gain weight, or even maintain, maintain, maintain your weight in general. So it's actually been proven that people who actually do keep track of the foods they eat daily um, in the food diaries are actually more likely to lose more weight than those who actually don't use food diaries. And um, also it has been proven that these note takers are also more likely to keep that weight off. Um, for the rest of their life, right? Now, it doesn't matter how you decide to do your food diary. It can be simple as writing it down in a, in a notebook, um, using different types of applications such as Evernote, or even using, you know, the My Fitness, um, there's a My Fitness app that you can use where it will actually let you track your, your food, um, your, all, all your diet that you're having throughout the day, okay? So, um, at least if you know exactly what you're eating each day, if you really want to tackle your weight goals, you will be consistent in writing down each and every day exactly what you're eating, how much of it you're consuming, and how many calories it is, not particularly that important, but specifically about the portion sizes and um, how many meals you're having um, in particular. And of course, you try to show how much of that is coming from the protein, carbohydrates, and, and fats, macronutrients, okay? So at least by keeping this diary, it'll actually help to show you whether or not you're getting enough um, nutrients and minerals, and in particular fruits and vegetables, because not enough people are getting their five a day. And in fact, I, in fact, I think studies have now come out showing that the body actually needs seven fruits and vegetables a day, not five. Um, five is just the bare minimum, but seven is what it actually needs to perform at its optimum, right? So again, it's the same with regards to whole grains and fats and making sure you get enough protein as well. So you will also be able to figure out whether or not you're eating too many foods that are not good for your body too, right? Um, and there are lots of calorie counters online, such as um, nutritiondata.com or caloriecount.about.com, um, you know, that actually helps you to maintain and control how much you're, you're, you're eating. And especially like the applications I mentioned earlier, okay? And you can also use a pyramid tracker at mypyramid.gov. I'm not sure if it's still available now, but take a look. There are lots of other groups on the internet as well where you can actually get some support from other people who are also trying to lose weight um, that can actually help you kind of know where you're going in your goals specifically, right? So, um, and it's even better, especially if you do use the app on your phone, especially since that will actually let you, it will actually calculate how many calories you you have consumed just from the weight or the portion sizes of your foods, which is great, okay? And um, that's pretty much all I wanted to say for the time being. We're actually going to do another video specifically on food diaries and how you can actually um, create a good food diary that you actually can monitor and control and um, different types of tips you can use in order to get the best benefit from them.